Good morning, children. I'm Ramya, your science teacher. I'm back with the online videos. So I'm going to take a new topic for you, like a food, nutrients, and microbes. Okay. topic i want to ask some few questions to you like for survival what what are the basic needs to require generally we need water right food and air shelter these are the basic needs which we are needed so out of this food is one of the most important thing generally if we feel hungry okay we will take food but why we are taking food by taking food what we are getting what we are getting we are getting energy right and we are building our bones and muscles okay there is a growth and we won't get any disease like if we take a proper food okay so in this way food is giving us energy they are building bones and muscles they are helps in growth and also uh, not getting any diseases so by taking simple a food how we are able to get these all things what is there in the food what are present in the food and how food is responsible for all these things that we are going to learn in our today's class okay before that what are present in the food i asked you what are present nutrients are present what are present nutrients are present nutrients are nothing but a it's a kind of substance which will provide these all things to our body by taking food okay nutrients are nothing but these all things which can be provided by food is nothing but the nutrients so what are kind what kind of nutrients are present in the food does all food contains all types of nutrients that we are going to see in our class today okay so coming to the nutrients there are five types of nutrients are present generally in our food like different types of food first one is carbohydrates okay these are all are new words to you carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals okay these are all are the five kinds of nutrients which are present in the food apart from these nutrients there is water and roughages also present in the food which helps in our digestion and um and uh, helps in the body building okay next uh, first we we'll go through the carbohydrates what are they in which kind of food it is present and what help they will do by taking that carbohydrate food carbohydrates generally provides energy for us what they will provide they will provide energy to us and they keep us healthy which kinds of food which type of food contains more number of carbohydrates generally in our day to day life we will take number of food items like from starting from the breakfast till the dinner we are having different types of foods different kinds of varieties of food we will be taking especially in the breakfast you will prefer the idli dosa upma puri or whatever your favorite one and coming to the lunch you will be taking meals like uh, rice along with chapati combination and few curries uh, rasam sambar curd etc okay and uh, uh, evening snacks will have in between uh, uh, parallelly you will be taking the milk right 
and evening snacks you will be taking night dinner again with rice or chapati this is a diet which you are going to take in from morning to night and so in that food in that kind of food in which food there is a carbohydrates generally carbohydrates we can see in a rice wheat potato etc these are the food items in which we can see excess number and uh, uh rice wheat potato etc generally carbohydrates we can see as a two types like sugars and starch sugars starch okay this all you will be learning the uh, more in uh, in your higher classes this is just about the uh, nutrients like a basic information okay carbohydrates is one kind of nutrient which will provides us energy and rice wheat potato are some of the food items in which carbohydrates are mainly present next coming to the proteins okay you will be hearing these all things in a day to day life like your parent will be saying that take good food it will be good for your health and in some advertisements like complan uh, boost whatever it may be they'll say they'll say that if you take this you'll get proteins vitamins minerals etc okay these all are needed to our body but what do proteins do to our body they will, they are building blocks of our body they are called as building blocks of our body okay that means they will heal our body day to day they will be healing our body proteins are building blocks of our body that means they helps in the growth also they helps in the growth also and which kind of food items there is a proteins are present especially milk okay your mother will be insisting you to take milk twice a day okay it's very good for health milk egg fish okay etc the in this things in this food substances as you can see the number of proteins and next coming to the fats fats are also called as a energy giving food but where they uh, compared to carbohydrates they are more energy they will be giving more energy they are giving more energy to understand the concept of fats take some ground nuts in one paper and just smash it press with the paper you will be seeing some oily patch on the paper that is nothing but the presence of fat like you can see in the ground nuts almonds cashew nuts okay these all are the things in which fats are present fats also helpful to our body they are also more energy giving compared to carbohydrates we can see that they will be giving the providing more energy to our body and in which cases we can see this ground nut generally in the nuts okay nuts etc we can see the fats next coming to the vitamin side minerals these are some what different kind okay these two are some what different kind vitamin side minerals generally help in helps to not to get any diseases they prevent our body from diseases against the diseases if the food contains if the food contains vitamins and minerals more in that food what happens they will be protecting our body they act as a protection or prevention protection from the diseases and they help in the prevention also like in which type of food we can see vitamins and coming to the vitamins we can say number of vitamins will be there like vitamin a b b6 b12 c d e k number of vitamins are there each one have the particular uh, property and particular reason for uh, providing kind of nutrient and minerals also generally we can see minerals like iron magnesium and uh, potassium okay etc these both uh, these vitamins and minerals they are helping in our body against the diseases they are fighting against the diseases and keep our body 
strong and fit. So, in which kind of food items we can see the vitamins and minerals? All kinds of vegetables and fruits, like especially fruits, um, like uh, orange, uh, apple, papaya, number of fruits, all kinds of fruits and uh, fruits contains vitamins and minerals. Why? If you observe, generally if you fall sick, you will go to a doctor. He will advise you to take the fruits. Why? Because they contain small amount of vitamins and minerals. You can get well soon. Okay? That's why he will suggest you to take the vitamins and minerals. This is about a basic information about the food and nutrients. Generally, we are having the five kinds of nutrients in our diet like a food those all those are nothing but the carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals but coming to the one more topic like uh, uh, generally from morning to night we are having the food that process that uh, process of taking food like we'll take our by ourselves like uh, how much we need it and what we like that kind of food only we are taking we are choosing some kind of food that maintaining of food we call it as a diet. That maintaining of food we call it as a diet. But if the diet contains this all nutrients, if this diet contains all these nutrients, such kind of diet we call it as a balanced diet. What we call balanced diet. By the, because if we follow this balanced diet, we can prevent diseases and uh, we can proper growth in our body our bones and muscles will be strong we get more energy finally we will be staying health and fit okay so one should follow the balanced diet to maintain all these things that means all proper nutrients all kind of nutrients if are present in a diet that diet we call it as a balanced diet this is all about the food and nutrients. 